Chris, I play drums. <laughs> Ryan, I play vocals. I'm Alex, I play guitar. David at the bass. Alright, um, I know you got the name for the band by driving through like Greeley, Colorado, but what kind of made it stick? Um, our first mm -hmm. show we just had it as a joke, kind of. Mm -hmm. We made homemade sh like shirts, and then um, kids started wearing them, and kind of like it was a good show. The first show was sold out a little club, so we decided to keep it for good luck, kind of. I guess <laughs> dumb name lasted six years now, so. And it's working. <laughs> yeah, for sure. And for people who don't know Greeley Estates, just like describe your music. The band. Pop punk. <laughs> uh, I, I guess it's uh, I don't know what it is. Smooth jazz? Smooth jazz. Definitely. <laughs> yeah, if you want to call it screamo, that's fine, I guess. That's kinda what usually gets screamo, melodic hardcore or whatever. Pop punk, I'll stick with that. <laughs> and um, what made you want to start and like perform and write music? Um I think all of us just had a lot of, you know, all big music fans, you know, going to shows growing up, going to Warped Tour, all that stuff, and then when you have a chance to do it yourself, jump on the opportunity, you know. So that's why, I mean, some of these guys have been in other bands before and stuff, so kind of just keep working until you get the chance to be on the road and do what you love, so. Um, some people don't really see, like, being musicians like a real career necessarily, but what are some, like, important things you guys have learned, like, over the years of being in bands and working, like, with music, or, like, personally, or, like, business? Like, organization. <laughs> time. Yeah. Yeah, it's definitely, it's hard work. It's a tough business, for sure. You have to really love it to keep doing it. It's not big money, you know? So, um, just appreciate the people that support you, and appreciate the people that you work with, live with every day. But yeah, it's definitely, it's a tough job, but it's, it's re very rewarding too, it's a good time, so. We're like being so serious too. <laughs> <laughs> um, what are some progressions that you guys have made since like first starting Greeley Estates, like through like writing like Go Left and Um, I think it's like, this was, Brandon and myself, it's our first band. So with writing that stuff, it was like, have, it's like, when you first start, you know, it's pretty amateur, I guess. And I, I'd say like where we're at now is kind of where we were striving to get to. So it took a few albums, but um, <coughs> we mostly play, just play the new stuff now because that's yeah. really what we love. So uh, it just takes time, you know. It's like when you first start anything, trying to figure it out, you know. So we still have a long way to go, I guess, but we're having a good time. And um, did using the quote, Go West, Young Man with Evil Go East, um, like as the latest album title, have anything like intentionally to do with it being said by Horace Greeley? Yeah, it did. Yeah. Uh, that, was, that was definitely part of it, because we thought it you know, it fit directly with the band name. Yeah. So, most people don't know that either. But yeah, <laughs> that, was, uh, that was definitely behind it. It wasn't some inspirational like quote or anything. It was just like, oh, he said it, so let's use it. You know, thought it sounded cool. And, um, yeah, you guys have kind of undergone, like, several member changes, so what kind of keeps you going when a lot of other bands decide, like, not to continue and everything? I think, well, luckily we've never lost, a, we haven't, lo like, lost songwriters, really, you know, and, um, that's important, I guess, to keep the band going, and, you know, like, the band's definitely, it's not about one person either, so when somebody leaves, somebody comes in, they're usually better. And that's been our case, you know, each time just gets better and better, so, um, I don't know. It's definitely more about the music, though, than about, like, a certain person in the band, so it's a bummer sometimes when somebody has to leave or somebody screws you or whatever, you know, it's, but either way, it's like, the band's gonna keep playing music, because that's what we're about, you know, so, we get through it. Yeah, it's nice to see that you guys are still around, because too many times, I know so many bands that, like, yeah, don't give up on it. Is there any message you guys try to convey, like, through your music? Um, what do you think, Chris? <laughs> well, I don't know. Usually with any artist, it's just open for interpretation, you know, yeah. so. Get that. Just kind of take what you what you want from it, you know? It's a clever answer. <laughs> and 
That's why he's in the bed. That's why he's in the bed. He should be doing the interview. <laughs> we try to like have somewhat of a positive message, I guess. I mean, some songs are more of just fun, you know, the zombies and vampire stuff. But for the most part, it's trying to like point people in the right direction, you know. So there's not like a theme, though. I wish there was. That'd be cool. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> um, is there a favorite song that you each have like written or that you each like to perform? I think Wait. we like Desperate Times a lot. Yeah. We like definitely we start this out with that because I think that's our favorite to play. <coughs> is it nice? Yeah. Uh, Breakdown's a good time. It always gets people going. So. Agreed. Agreed. <laughs> Chris likes old Greeley, he's sad that we don't play it. <laughs> Pop stuff. Life is dark. Life is dark. He's got a tattoo on his chest. I won't show you. <laughs> Embarrassed? Or? A little bit. That and it doesn't exist. <laughs> <laughs> um, what's been one of your most memorable like shows or tours to date and like what made it so special? Warp Tour is always a good time. Yeah. <laughs> the August Burns Red Tour was amazing. We're out with just a bunch of our friends. Skylar Drive, Sky Tour playing. Um, that's probably like one of the most memorable tours I'd say for us. You know, just in the last few years, just every night was crazy. Just a great time. And Warp Tour is just a great experience too. So. Um, is there something you look forward to most or least while touring? Great day. It's good. Yeah, well, like we we definitely don't like breaking down, obviously, and that have, seems to happen every tour, either an accident or like a really bad breakdown. Just Flat lots tires. of yeah, lots of miles traveled. Whenever we're like on our way home after a couple months, we'll always get like a flat tire or have a breakdown, like just when we're about to get home. It's just like we're just waiting for it every time. Yeah. Um, and then being on the road, I mean, playing shows for sure. When you have a break, you definitely miss that. So. <coughs> it's not snowing now. Yeah, seriously. Last time. <laughs> yeah. We don't really miss the smell of this thing. We're in, I guess. Yeah. It smells like a guy's locker room. Sorry. <laughs>